Good afternoon, I'm Video James, and this is Space Engineers. With the Thursday update we all long and wait for, we were finally given artificial mass blocks. We've all been waiting for this for a while. Well, I say we all. Some of us have been waiting for this for a while, because it allows our creations to be affected by gravity without having to sit there and tediously mine stone and then connect it up using landing gear and then sticking it somewhere on your ship. As you see, the red spawn ship is my target again for today. I'm sorry, red spawn ship, you always seem to be my target. The point of this, the rail, as I called it on the Reddit group, is the head of it moves along as powered by the artificial mass blocks. They push down on these warheads. Now the warheads are comprised of a small reactor, an artificial mass block, and obviously a warhead. Due to this, it's all susceptible to gravity, and I've got a whole row of them. The head itself contains two gravity generators that push down on the warheads, as well as two artificial mass blocks of its own. Obviously, there and there. And the gravity will push it along the rail. I haven't yet built the end of it properly, so it may just fly off the end of the rail. And as it moves along, it'll push down on the warheads. Now, the reason I did this for was... Oh, and this is the gravity that pushes down. The reason I... Yes, big so I blow out shush phone. The reason I did this for is, in an earlier video, I proved that sequential explosions deal more damage than one big explosion. Oh, I best put a hole here, else I can't escape. Do more deal, uh, deal more damage than one big explosion. So, with this device, you can send it along the rail, and it will send off the warheads sequentially, one at a time, even though they're in a row of two, because I intentionally put one gravity generator in front of the other one. So, hold on, 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 right. Best run out here. Do do, I say run, fly. As you see, they fire one at a time. The distance between them should be just enough for the first one to explode before the second one gets there. Yeah. Huh. Oh, and it didn't break off the end. That makes a change. And, as you can see, lots of damage. Wunderbar. Uh, sorry, red ship. I should really make a test dummy, which is, you know, prettier. <laughs> if you have any questions, or not, uh, leave a comment, and I guess I'll see you all later. Pfft. Toodaloo!